brothers and sisters of the celestial energies, brother wisdom. What's going on, guys? Um, this last lunar eclipse, what they call the beaver moon, a beaver eclipse. Um, this was no ordinary eclipse. This was just no, you know, they, they, they these, mm -hmm. these inorganic beings make things seem like, oh, it's just something that happens. And it's something that just takes place and, you know, go on with your everyday life and, you know, just feed our system and, you know, let us do what we do while we continue to drain your planet as you play this game that we want you to play, you know, here in Michigan, the cloud, the sky was completely covered. Um, I literally had to uh, open up a program in order to clear the sky, and the sky was cleared. And I saw the very last of this eclipse. And this was no ordinary eclipse. All right, I can tell you this right now. This is when they talk about. They say it's going to be a partial lunar eclipse this is no ordinary eclipse this was a major celestial event that took place here on the planet and when i say major i mean this was a major celestial event and they say oh you this haven't happened in 500 years or uh first they said a thousand years then they said 500 years and i'm like you know these motherfuckers don't even know what what, what story to tell what lie to tell what you know they don't they don't know what lie to tell because now they they you know they all they do is create lies all right that's one thing i do know is all they do is create lies so this last this this lunar eclipse that happened was something that is for the records for us as the original beings it was something that was for the records. And like I said, here in Michigan, the sky was covered. It was, it was completely covered. And, and you know, I, I, I understand why. Because, you know, Michigan has got uh, an, uh, an, an enormous amount of awakened brothers and sisters. And when, we say, when I say enormous, I'm talking about a whole lot of brothers and sisters are fully awakened here in Michigan. All right? And... I guess is their way of trying to of trying to divert some type of hope of a change but you know we don't have to worry about a hope of a change because we know who we are all right there's no hoping in anything it's all about knowing you know hoping is is something that you wish that would happen you know something and you know the change is going to take place and you know what's going to take place there's no you, you basically you just say you know i'm just waiting i'm just waiting yeah i know what's going to what's going to take place and i know what's going to what's, what's going to happen with us this was a powerful celestial event and these inorganic beings these work beings were horrified all right this is why they're, you know, they're they're calling themselves wanting to control the entire cosmos. I'm sorry, but you can't control the entire cosmos, little people. All little people that you are, you can't even control your little devices here on the planet. And and you know, it's already been told to you that you that everything that you thought was yours is not yours anymore. You're not gonna believe it until you know things happening you know these these beings are beings who have to see in order to believe many of them because they're going to just push out everything um that uh is not in their grasp all right they're going to push out everything that's not in their grasp that's not in their hole that's not in their um realm of control all right and this is why, you know, they're scared of us making that shift to that complete awakening energy. All right. They're extremely scared of us making that shift because they know they already know. All right. This lunar eclipse 
played a, a powerful role in the in the shifting of the poles on our planet. All right. Now you got to understand, understand, understand that everything that deals with cosmic, the celestial, and we are celestial also. Um, everything that deals with on on a cosmic level deals with program change, and you know we talked about that once before, how the programs shift. All right. This was a major shift in our moon, just like we shifted, all right, into the ninth dimension. This lunar eclipse was sending energies to the moon because the moon controls the shifts, all right, believe it or not. You know, we, we tell everyone and no one wants to believe us, all right, Whatever happens with the sun comes from the moon. All right, and we have two moons, but our main moon is Titan. Titan is our main moon. So whatever happens with the sun comes from Titan, the moon. Okay? So, you know, we're going to watch some major solar e solar events that's going to take place here on the planet. All right? Whatever happens with the sun begins with the moon. Masculine, feminine. That's how things work. Before daddy can do something, mama gotta tell him what to do. And daddy ain't gonna do nothing unless mama say, mama give the approval. Ain't that how it works? <laughs> so that's just how it works. So yeah, um, we're looking at some things that's going to take place that's going to be what these orc beings call unprecedented. All right, this is going to—they—they they literally going to say, "Hey, they—they're—they're they're at the point right now saying things are happening that we can't control." They—they they always say it's out of our control. And this celestial event that took place, this lunar eclipse, say this was a planetary thing. This was a planet. This was a planet that was charging up the moon. <laughs> this was a planet that was charging up the moon. I'll say it again. This was a planet, an extremely large and enormous planet that was bigger than the moon, that was charging up the moon. And this planet calls the moon to go into a retrograde state, but it was completely a completely different retrograde state. Okay, um, what these orc beings did see was this planet traveling to the moon, and they estimated when there was going to be a lunar eclipse because they they use you know it's. It's all about nautical miles. When you're dealing with space, you deal with nautical miles. Even here on our on our planet, you know, before the fall, um, our distances on land was were were based on nautical miles. All right, and um, nautical miles are completely different than um, dealing with feet and um, and kilometers and centimeters. You know, it's it's completely different nautical miles are, are, are different we're going to talk about that one day um but they measure they made measurements according to nautical miles of when this planet was going to reach the moon and they got the exact date that's why they knew what was going on okay they knew what was going on and this was a very long time uh, six hours, which was a six hour charge. This extremely colossal planet charged up the moon for six hours. All right. And the moon was in retrograde for six hours. And this was a fucking ton of enormous colossal. You can't even and it give it in, in, the, in the English term the amount of energy that was put into the moon I mean it was some crazy astronomical numbers that couldn't even be calculated by mankind that's how much energy was put into the moon so 
I linked it to the moon last night. It was a huge halo around the moon. Unlike any other halo the moon has ever uh, uh, um, had, this was a extremely huge halo, and I linked it to the moon. And that was the message that I had that I get I received. So the message that I received, that's why I did that message on that that little short two minute message, because that's what I received when I linked it to the moon. It's like they have no idea what's getting ready to take place. And they're not going to be told what's getting ready to take place when I tell you this right here. What's getting ready to happen, you know, their little fucked up world that they created and all the shit that they're doing. Payback is a goddamn motherfucker. I tell you this right here now. Payback is a motherfucker. It's a goddamn motherfucker. All right. There's no better payback than dealing with the celestial with the uh, celestial bodies. Payback is a goddamn motherfucker. And these motherfuckers are gonna feel this shit. As they are already feeling it now. But what's gonna take place here on our planet, in our galaxy, is something that was completely unheard of. Something that that prophecy hadn't even touched yet. Right? Remember, the, the prophecy only goes for so long. And then they stopped it because they didn't want um, everyone to know what was really going to take place on the planet. You know? So, you know, you get into the book of Revelation. It's talking about the, the, the beast giving power to the dragon and the dragon giving power back to the beast and they transfer, transferring energy. This is all celestial. All right? That's why our brothers and sisters that, that are caught up in this religion, they can't understand this book called the Bible. You know, they can't understand it at all because they are not on a Masonic level. They're on a religious level and religious is, is nothing but stupidity. But yeah, you know, just pass this on to you, brothers and sisters. This is, this is um, some power. We, we get ready to come into some powerful events and like we told uh, you all before, you know, after this lunar eclipse, there will be event after event after event after event. And these beings will not be ready to assess the damage that's going to take place to their system and as well as to this planet alone. Everything happens because it's supposed to happen. And if it's not supposed to happen, we make sure it doesn't happen. But everything is happening just the way it's supposed to happen. All right. So, you know, we just we just giving out the message now. All right. This is the main part of the message is understanding that what you think is not what is. But whatever it is, it is what it is. Okay. They came to this planet to put the original beings in sleep. And they came to this planet running from a shitload of other beings that they pissed off all across the cosmos from universe to universe. And now this is their last resort. This is why they're getting their armies together, all their all their uh, artillery together. They're, they're getting ready because they know this shit is coming. What's getting ready to take place on the planet is absolute chaos. And they won't be able to use their weather machines to try to stop things, you know, like they did with Vietnam when they went to Vietnam and they, they created all that rain and all that. No, what's going to take place here on the planet, they won't be able to control shit. Not a goddamn thing. And they're going to be fucked. All right. They're going to be fucked on a, on a completely different level. All right, they're gonna be completely weakened, and then after they're weakened, they will be destroyed, and blood will be shed. This is this is something that you can put on the records. Blood will be shed. This last moon wasn't a normal celestial event. This was a charging. This was new programs being put into the moon. This was new programs. I mean, so basically what's happening is the moon is going to regulate the shifting of the dimensional energies 
And we're getting ready to shift into a new dimension in the next couple months. Actually, not even, I'm, I'm here in the next couple days. We're going to be shifting into a new dimension in the next couple of days. This is what I'll get. So, I mean, this is this is something like it's going to be event after event after event after event. Because they're fighting back harder. All right. These in, these 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 work beings are fighting back harder. All right. So when we see them fighting back harder, we have to go way, 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 way ahead of them. We have to what's happening with what happened with the moon was everything literally went like fucking 200 years ahead of anything that they could possibly do that they could possibly think. So they went like, you know, this is pure cosmic intelligence. Intelligence took place. And intelligence defeats technology any day. But these beings, they're going to fight because their ego and their pride tells them that they own this planet. You know, that's why they went through all those different things. Some of they want to own Mars and they want to own the moon and they want to put an American flag on the moon. I mean, we own the moon and all this stuff here. You know, the, 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 the garbage creating this game and all that. No, I'm sorry. This shit is about to be over. The game is about to be played out and the reality is getting ready to set in. And there won't be no money. There won't be no businesses. There won't be no banks. There won't be nothing. But chaos will reign in order for for uh, uh, everything to come together in, in unity and in the peace of where that it was supposed to be. All right. And then next time uh, an, another set of inorganic beings want to come here to the planet, we're going to be ready this time. And we're going to use the history that uh, that has been passed down. And we're going to know. And if we ever see them, motherfuckers, when we see them, we're going to we're going to do what we got to do. And we're going to make sure that nobody ever comes back. These grays, the Zetorectulian uh, grays, you know, all of them, we, we, we're gonna, they're gonna be dealt with. They're gonna be dealt with, you know, because you know they're the, they're the ones who showed uh, these orc beings where we were, because we hid our planet from everyone, literally hid our planet from everyone. If you notice, you look up into the celestial, into the celestial bodies, you see. Um, Clusters of planets all together, but we hit our planet. All right, because we didn't want anyone else. And these grays, they found us. Yeah, they they showed these beings the way. You know, it's something that's never been told before. You know, that's how they. That's how these beings found us. But um, we got um, we got something coming for these motherfuckers. Hmm. They think they they think they on top. They'll never be on top. They will never, ever, ever be on top of anything. On our planet, no. They'll never be on top. Okay? I pass this on to you. I hope you understand, understand, overstand everything that's been said. Okay? This is no ordinary lunar eclipse. This was a charging. And this, this the moon and all of the suns, Nibiru, um, Ra, uh, we talking about our, our atmospheric sun, our galactic sun, s s doing what she do. <laughs> but our atmospheric sun and our atmospheric moon is going to be working together. So we're looking at Nibiru, we're looking at Ra, you know, we're looking at Nemesis, you know, we have our moon Titanium, we have our other moon um, uh, Platinum. All right, and they're all working together, and chaos is going to rain on the planet. These beings, are, you remember, you remember this right here. The weather is based upon cloud coverage, and they create the clouds. And what happens? What happens when they try to create the clouds? And what go? What they think was supposed to go into the air? dissipates and the atomic structure of their the cloud machine changes and the encryption and their algorithms shift to an algorithm that they can't understand and they can't bring their cloud making machine back to normal 
See, everything that you think this is normal, the, the whole normality of everything is getting ready to change because the algorithms of everything dealing with technology is getting ready to change because intelligence is taking over. All right. Passes on to you. Understand, overstand, understand everything that's been said. You know the deal. All power to the most chakra celestial angelic beings. May chaos reign with you forever and ever. Much power to you all.